Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create uh, ABC's child blocks. So similar to the image that you see of children's blocks, those multi-colored type of blocks, you can create that in PowerPoint pretty easily. And you can use this imagery to de describe some kind of elementary type of message. So this is how you'd create it. Or I can give you an example first of how it would look. So for example, maybe we have uh, these kind of blocks. You know, the typical ABC blocks you can see, you see uh, that children play with. This is kind of one example one. Here is another example one of one that looks like the ABC blocks but in a more of a wooden form. You know, you have that wood, wooden type of uh, look to it. So I'll show you how to create both of these. Let me go ahead and exit out of the slideshow and start a new slide here. I'll click here and click on new slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to draw out a square. You can either use the rectangle icon here under the drawing tool, gr drawing group, this, that tool, or you can use this rounded rectangle. So what happens when you choose it and you just kind of draw it out, you're not going to draw a perfect square. You're going to kind of kind of like try to guess what a perfect square is. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So in order to draw out draw a perfect square, I'm going to use just the rectangle one. I'm going to click that. You have to press the shift key. And what it's going to do, it's going to draw out a perfect equidistant uh, rectangle, which is a square. So once I draw that out, I'm just going to go ahead and type the letter A in there. All right, the letter A, and I'm going to increase I'm going to go ahead and double click and increase the font size, maybe make it pretty big. Now, uh, let's see. Let's give it a 72. Now what I want to do is I want to make the, the fill in this square, I want to make it a white color. If we do it on this first example, we're going to go ahead and give it a white color, a white color fill. So I'm going to go under, it's selected, go under the uh, format tab in the drawing tools context menu. And for the shape fill, that's going to be no fill. Now what happens is the letter turned out to be washed out because the font color in the letter is white color. So I'm going to have to double click that and go ahead and you can do the do the text. I can, I can just do the right click and the mini toolbar comes up. And for the font color, I'm going to make that, let's just make that blue. We'll do this blue color here. And what I need to do now is I want to increase the border here. See this border here? That is what gives it that shape, that, that imagery of a block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that and I'm going to go ahead, I can go to format and do the shape outline and go under weight and this is going to be pretty pretty big so what happens here is you only get a selection quite a small selection so what I can do is I can right click it and go under form oops I can right click it select again right click go under format shape and let me move this over here now what I want to do is under the line style I want to increase that width to something pretty large it's going to be 15 so you notice if I if I go to 10, it gets pretty big. Uh, I'll do 15. It, it makes it look a little bit more bigger. So you can adjust it to how you fit, feel that it's proper for yourself. It could be from 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's just dependent on you. Uh, if I close that, now you can see that now I've got this nice shape here. And what I can do is I can kind of move it around like this to give it some variety. What I also want to do is maybe give some variety to the font. So right now it's Calibri and maybe you want to give it more of a whimsical kind of childish type of font style. So let's go and find one. Maybe something like um, maybe Berlin. That, that looks kind of a little bit uh, simple. And what we want to do maybe is increase the size of that one a little bit more too. And uh, maybe that's a little bit too big. So there is that. And what we can do is if we wanted to go ahead and create other letters, the easiest way to do it, since we've got all our formatting done right now, is just to duplicate it. So we select that and just press Control D. It will duplicate it. And then we can just say, hey, let's call this one capital B. Give it another color. Make the font maybe red. And then make the grid line. I'm going to right click that format shape and make maybe the line color make that red so that's the other way you can go into format shape to do it or if you already had it selected you can go into format shape here and do the uh, shape outline you can do it here too see you can already do it there and maybe you want to make this kind of offset and make that over here and do that so if we wanted to also do something like this where we have the interior become this wooden color we can do that Right now we have it where it's, it's white, 
it, it's a little bit stark, so that's why having a darker background is kind of a good idea to show some contrast. But if we didn't want to have a, a dark background and we want to have that wood flavor here that we see in that uh, second example, what we can do is we can click inside, right click and go into format shape, and for the fill, we're going to give it a texture fill. So you have the picture of texture fill. So we have these textures here that you can find, and there's a bunch of textures. We can give it kind of this canvas or this papyrus. I think that's what I had given it to this one. So if we wanted some kind of a little bit darker woodsy. This could be the oak, which is a little too dark. So you can either go some go to the stationery, which kind of gives it that feel, but I kind of like papyrus. It was kind of a more natural, looks more woody. And I can close that, and that's already designated for this letter A here. So if I wanted to repeat it for this letter B, I would do the same thing. I can right click, format background, and under the fill, picture text fill, and give it that papyrus. And click close, oops, undo. Let me click control Z to undo. And what, what I actually did was did it for the background of the slide. So I wanna click on this particular image, this rectangle image, format shape, and go under um, fill, and go under picture and then click papyrus and click OK. And that's why it's a good idea to kind of make one and complete it as your template and then all you need to do is just control D to duplicate it or control C to copy, control V to paste and all you need to do is just change the letter and the colors. So that's how you create this uh, child or kids ABC block image. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.